So we're out here for the Gold Star Bridge ride. The Gold Star Mothers, uh, the principle behind that is their parents, mothers of veterans who lost their life. What we're doing is we're trying to make sure that those individuals who gave their life for us paid the ultimate sacrifice so that we have the freedom to be on these motorcycles today. We're able to remember them, honor them, pay tribute to them. About one o'clock yesterday, we had a convoy of about 150 bikes that left the state capitol complex and did a motorcade all the way up into Somersville, ultimately arriving at the Somersville Arena. There's a, a separate freestanding event going on this weekend. There are Tats and Tires Expo. One of, the, one of the really neat things about that event was Paul Tuttle Jr., formerly of American Chopper out of New York, they came by. Uh, Paul was so gracious enough to spend time with the folks from the Gold Star Bridge ride. It was kind of funny. I walked into the building and uh, with other Gold Star moms and saw the tattoo. And we talked about having a tattoo and I finally did it. I says, uh, I'm going to do this for my son. I'm 70 years old and it's the first time I've ever had a tattoo. And it means a lot to me to finally have Joey on my arm and the year that he died. And it's just so much fun to meet all the other bikers that come in from 11 different states. And we have a good time. It's really nice to see others wanting to honor the fallen. We will ultimately ride across the New River Gorge Bridge into Fayetteville and we will turn around and then we'll come straight back north on 19. We end up today at the Tractor Bar, another huge supporter of this event. Um, we will ultimately convene there. We have a very solemn ceremony uh, to remember and honor uh, the sacrifices that not only the Gold Star Mothers but their children have made as well for our country. Knowing that there's veterans here in West Virginia who do not have family to remember them did something to me to where I wanted to make sure I took time out of my schedule every year to come out here and say thank you to those veterans who made sure that this beautiful state of West Virginia was free, was beautiful, and wild so that we can get on these wild hogs, we can ride around, have fun, have freedom, we can drink our beer at the bar at the end of the day and be thankful for the liberties that come from their sacrifices.